Welcome to this video. This is uh, about how to make a suspension bracket on a tubular frame. You can see uh, someone sent me a request and sent this picture along with it that they want to make something like this. They, I've got a tubular frame, that's great, but this gets a little tricky. So I'm going to go uh, two ways you can make this. I think one's better than the other, and uh, we can go from there. So first, what I want to do is add a structural member. I can find that on the weldments tab. And I'm going to do a rectangular tube. Those dimensions are fine. I'm going to put it 90 degrees offset. And boom, adding another structure member, you'll, you'd actually have to cope these edges. And if they don't cope well, it could be a little challenging, but it's doable. You can clean out the inside if, when it uh, pierces through and, and things like that to, to clean this up. But it's uh, we're well on our way already to starting to look um, kind of what we need to look. I can do one or two cuts and we're pretty much there. So I'll go ahead and do that. Just make it to any dimension that you want, whatever your design calls for. Pretty open-ended. Um, you can figure it out. You're the engineer working on this. I'm going to start with a three-point arc. Yep, we're coincident. And oh, coincident. There we go. Collinear. Tangent. There we go. At the circle center, I'll add in a hole. 300 thou. I'll make this line for construction. They are dimensioning lines, so they're important. But I don't want them to be a part of the actual cut. I'll do an extruded cut through all. And there we have something that is starting to look like what we um, wanted to do. We can use weldments at a weld bead along here or put a fillet and uh, get things clean that way. Uh, again, this has its problems. Um, it needs to be cleaned up in the model. It, Looks okay for my Bandicam failed there, and I did the whole rest of the video without it recording, so I had to go back and uh, re-record some of this. Anyways, th so that method has its failures. I'm getting deja vu here because <laughs> I've done this a lot. Uh, so what I'm going to do for my second time is on the front plane, I'll get normal to it, and I'm going to add in a plane. I'll make it uh, parallel with the front plane, inch and a half away. Now I'm going to sketch out a rectangle. I can make a full uh, rectangle if I wanted to, kind of like last time. We'll do a little different this time. Dimension it off of this edge, making it, I'll do 10 thou, and I'll do 10 thou over here. I'll make this a uh, quarter inch thick. And this center here is six inches. So I'm going to say 6.75. That's a decent distance. That gives me an inch and a half. 
to work with in between two of these entities. And I'll exit the sketch, uh, go to my main features and say wrap. And all I'm doing is wrapping the sketch around this surface. I want to emboss, meaning extrude, not deboss, which would be cut in. And this line is going to be uh, perpendicular to the surface. So it'll come out here. This line perpendicular to the surface, it'll look like a fan. Not a problem. Uh, we can clean it up. And getting normal to that. Uh, this is a method that I can extrude out of the surface, but without um, worrying about this inside here. And you can do split line or, or other methods as well if this isn't uh, satisfactory. I'm going to hide this plane because planes are annoying. And I'm going to make a sketch that will make the profile that we need here. And Bandicam decided to cut out on me again, but here's my finished sketch. Um, you can sketch this however you'd like. Again, I've got lines going all the way around the surface so that when I exit the sketch and do a cut extrude, In fact, I'm not going to exit the sketch because I included a hole in there. So I'll edit the sketch, cut extrude, and then it will remember the hole. Quarter inch thick, and there we have a suspension component that doesn't go inside of the tube. Finally, I can also linear pattern this. If I had my origin in the middle, I could also mirror it across if I wanted to. But I'll choose a direction here, and I'll go 1.75. And these features in these faces, since it goes center to center, that's different than inside to inside. So keep that in mind when you choose your distance to make sure that it's actually symmetrical, or the distance that you want. Um, so I selected this feature and the cut that I did to shape it. And there's some suspension as well as I can add a fillet or a weld bead or whatever I want to do to simulate the suspension. Uh, this is probably two of foreseeably hundreds of ways to make this, so use your imagination and uh, hope this was a good catalyst to build some suspension. If this video was helpful, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me back, and I'll catch you next time.